Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 19, and this is war number 5. And we're going up against an alliance called League of Extraordinary Champions. Alright, so I've already gone in, looked at the fights that I'm going to have to uh, deal with, chosen my champions, and I'm diving in. Now, you may notice right off the bat that we only have an hour and 18 minutes to go and I'm joining. That is part of our strategy. Uh, I do not start right off. It's first come first serve, but I usually don't start uh, off first. So we've got some people that go in and as you can see, they go ahead and clear paths and they got to a point where we still had some minis up. And so uh, the call went out, okay, everybody join in, boss rush. So I came on in here, I looked and saw what the uh, minis were uh, that were left, and I chose my team accordingly. All right, and we're going to get some uh, boss action uh, in this video, believe it or not. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to watch some other fights by Jigner. But first up, we've got Human Torch. So I've fought Human Torch, and I'm like, okay, let me see, you know, who I should bring in. Uh, we've got Hurt Locker, Power Focus, nothing there that uh, looked, you know, difficult. Uh, and then you have that Stubborn. Stubborn is annoying. As much as I like to Dex, that is a very, very annoying node or defense tactic. All right, so I'm using some boosts just because um, you can see I'm using them, I am capped, they're gonna expire if I don't use them. Uh, and so I said, let me go ahead and use them. This time I remembered to use the health boost before I got hurt and uh, while I was at full health, all right? Now, this is the first time I am bringing in Nick Fury. I'm still not good with Nick Fury. Just bear that in mind, okay? But I know that Human Torch, when he's bleeding, uh, it keeps his temperature down. So I said, all right, well, let me go in there. I'm not doing anything other than regular five-hit combo ending in a light. Uh, at this point in time, I don't have uh, deep wounds, uh, more than like one point in deep wounds. Uh, and it helps Nick Fury uh, to have more points in deep wounds. Uh, I've since switched my masteries because Max Limber is not going to be as useful to me as it has been in the past. Uh, thanks to the AQ changes and something that we noticed I uh, don't know if it's not working, but we're not getting what we feel we should uh, with that. But you saw I took down Human Torch pretty quickly and easily. Nick Fury is a beast, and we're going to see him again. All right, so here we've got these nodes to deal with. Uh, enhanced Special 2, Special 2 Bias, uh, yada yada. Now, the thing with him is that armor well not armor break but the cold snap so i'm going in here with warlock that's who i decided to fight him with okay but that defense tactic makes an already annoying fight even more annoying for me okay so you see there he's got indestructible because i dexed so all of that no damage okay and i'm like oh wait that's right now i gotta try to parry to get that off and remember he doesn't parry so well he has that tenacity um and look at that that special two almost always wrecks me because i can't seem to stop from uh trying to evade it and then you've got this this is ridiculous okay so it's uh, you know i kind of panicked there uh is what you saw happen there because i'm like he's just gonna keep cycling like that he's just gonna keep cycling and then I tried to dash back, got caught. And I was like, okay, okay. I see how this is gonna go. You know, he's got a power gain. He's got an unblockable special two that I cannot dex. Say, okay, I got something for him. 
All right. I thought I had Warlock for him, but apparently not. But that's why I brought in Corvus as well. Because even if I die, I would revive and just keep going at him. But my idea here is to just blitz him down. You know, just try to go ahead and, you know, get as much damage in. Uh, you saw I swiped once, but I noticed that he had the indestructible. So, you know, I backed off. There we go. The tenacity, so he didn't parry, but I still got rid of the indestructible. All right, and you see me here, and I'm just like, all right, he's going to get a special three. Nope, he fired off the special two, and look at that. I actually evaded it. I was, like, feeling myself after that. I said, okay, so it is evadable. I just need to practice it. Okay, and you saw there, I went ahead, pushed him almost to a special three, fired off my special two, but because of his power gain, that power drain didn't really help a whole lot. It just delayed it a little bit. Only to delay the inevitable. But I was determined to get this guy down. Okay, so here I am, I'm in the corner, and now I'm having the dex. Okay, I got rid of it, and I'm like, okay, here we go. I only got a few charges left, but I want that special too. All right, we got it. Boom, boom, boom. Took him down. Sloppy but we got him down, okay? One death, not too bad, okay? So at the end of the video, we are going to have a boss fight. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna rewind a little bit and show you how we got here. Uh, Jigner, who is my Alliance leader, uh, sent me some fights and I have not seen these fights yet. Next up, We've got the man of the hour, Doom, who we used to see all over the place. And uh, we still see him uh, quite often. All right, so you see the node here. Now, he has uh, Doom, or rather, he has Ghost Rider synergy. And, you know, I was kind of thinking while I was uh, reading that, it seems almost like a rerun of a previous war, but that's because they often put the same defenders in the same spots uh, because they're good, you know, placement for them. But Blade, with that Ghost Rider synergy, he gets that danger sense, so he's shutting down uh, a lot of the node BS. Man, I hate when that AI does that. It just starts backing off, backing off, so passive, very annoying. All right, so he evaded and he got that uh, indestructible charge, but he got rid of that. And he's just parrying, baited out the special one. Good, good. And of course, he has to evade that. So that means he was going to have that indestructible. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of these nodes, man. They, they, they seem to punish you for playing well. You know, in the way that you would play in any other situation... Now they want to punish you for doing that. And I, I just don't think that's right. Now, uh, I know that they are going to be addressing a lot of that. Uh, I don't know when, but that concern has been brought up to them by more than just me. I brought it to them, but others have brought it to them as well. Um, and I don't know what they're going to do, but... One of the things that, that we don't like is that we're punished for playing in a way that they don't want us to play in a particular situation. But we're not rewarded for doing things well. You know, if you guys remember the demerit system, it's like getting demerits but never getting any merit. And plenty of schools did that. You know, you did something wrong, you got a demerit mark against your name but you didn't get anything plus you know you did your homework right you know you were prepared you know there's a whole bunch of things that they could give you merits for but they don't do that you know the the assumption is hey you know this is the minimum that you should do so why should we reward you but i'm hoping that they're going to be changing that all right so as you see here he's playing it you know pretty safely here all right, there we go. Come on, come on. Uh, and I've seen him fight Doom before, so uh, he's fighting Doom in the same way that uh, I've seen him fight him. 
you know, parry, just get as much damage, bleed, evade that. You know, now he's got to parry him again, but that's fine. And then down he goes. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's see. What's the next fight? Um, all right, you see he was uh, recording. Um, and I really appreciate uh, Jigna for recording these things for me because think about what would have happened to this video. Uh, you know, I go in and I take those two minis and that's it. You know, um, you know it, it's helpful but it's going to make for a very short video. So having other footage, and so far, Jigner has been uh, the only one that has been submitting uh, videos to me. I guess uh, the others are a little shy, but um, here we go. So we already know how he uh, approaches this fight. Um, it's the exact same way as he fought uh, Captain Marvel movie before. Okay. Yep, see there, he's blocking it rather than evading it. All right, now this time he's uh, firing off that special one a little bit off. And now the special one is going to put a bleed that lasts longer. So that means he's going to get more power. Okay, and uh, look at that. He's already at a, a special three here. You know, so the bleed that you put on them when you parry is a shorter bleed. But when you, um, yeah, when you fire off that special one, uh, it's going to put a longer bleed. And uh, sometimes that helps out in your rotation. So here we go. Uh, I'll bet you you wanted to fire off that special two instead of the special three there. Um, I know I would have. Scoosh, scoosh. But either way, she's down. All right, let's see what the next fight is. Okay, so we got a Thing fight, and I'm assuming that's who he brought uh, Gwenpool in for. Yep, yep. So Gwenpool is great to fight Thing. And the reason is, even though Thing is bleed immune, every time he would take a bleed, it reduces his rock. Uh, stacks and managing his rock stacks is the major part of fighting thing but you also have to deal with those nodes as well but you know using her you at least have a handle on the rock stacks and then you can deal with the other node uh issues all right so you see here and then we've got the um indestructible popping up forever uh, because of the uh, global uh, defense tactic. All right. And, you know, like like we need thing to have uh, indestructible charges. All right. So you see she's going in. Boom. All right. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, because thing, thing is a pretty annoying uh, defender uh, at the best of times. I remember when he first came out, uh, I did not like fighting him at all. Uh, there were people that loved fighting him. And I was like, no, you know, the fight take too long. I've got to watch too many things, manage too many things. Um, but I've gotten pretty good at fighting thing. Uh, if you've seen some of my previous war videos in uh, previous seasons, I fought thing with blade. And he did a very good job. However, one of the problems that I ran into was that he just did not take him down fast enough. I went up against a boss, thing boss, and just timed out. I played the fight as well as I could. Um, I showed videos, and basically the consensus was, you know, Blade just didn't have the... Uh, the uh, damage output uh, for that. Now, maybe if I boost it up a whole lot, I, I don't know. Um, there might have been a way to still solo that thing boss. But why? So you can see here that 
she's just tearing this uh thing up okay uh anytime he takes uh that bleed or any of that stuff you know she's just ripping him up just look at this and he's down that is a beautiful beautiful fight right there all right so let's see we got uh blade versus blade perhaps because that's who i would bring in there i certainly wouldn't bring in well i mean ghost rider since uh um he's bleed immune but no nah, i'd probably just go ahead and use uh blade and uh and i'd be singing in my head will the real blade please stand up please stand up all right so let's see how he does against blade he's got to fight himself all right uh also notice something um jigner is not running suicides uh and that helps the regen because he doesn't have that poison on him um and blade does just fine all right so you can see here he's already uh chopping him down Woo, look at that so he's almost gone at this point you know i'm thinking maybe one more special two perhaps okay yeah like a special two at this point probably would do it uh oh he went to a special three okay trying to get him away from that all right okay come on yep there you go got rid of the uh indestructible and stubborn thing all right uh oh okay it's getting dicey we're getting dicey over here okay he's getting some bleeds uh oh oh that wasn't good i've had that happen to me so i already know oh boy yeah ouchie yeah i've had that happen to me uh they're so close you get pop pop and then they're at their special three all right so uh after i did the the two minis that you saw i mean uh yeah the two minis that you saw earlier uh i was asked to tickle the boss you know just get the boss you know put some damage on him I'm like, okay so we'll start out with uh corvus he's not the best for it you see how he dexed my uh attack that's so annoying with him all i'm trying to do here is uh use up my charges but i didn't even get a chance to use them up um naturally and uh get some crits and extra damage so i'm looking at that i'm just like wow that's just ridiculous so i have got one person i've got one person left nick fury i have never fought mojo with nick fury and remember this is only my second time using nick fury in here all right so i'm going in i'm just trying to end it with the uh light attack and uh i'm not the best at fighting mojo all right and see so here we go and i just can't get out of the way of that fast enough you know so i got hit you know we're getting that d gen the lovely d gen so look at that i'm getting caught again it's just i gotta get used to mojo all right look at that boom so now we've got the real nick fury up and see i fired off that special two sort of a hail mary because i was over here in the corner and i didn't want to be in the corner all right so i'm now i'm just trying to get as much damage done and nick fury is putting in that work i got a little um intercept there i don't want him to go to his special two look at that now, that time i evaded okay so i'm just like yeah let me try and get to another special two and see what we can do here you know try and get that oh he's got a special two what 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 hey we did good on that one and then an intercept and then a special two look at that oh man ripped him up okay so i was impressed with nick fury big time if i was a better fighter in hands that were much better than mine nick fury could have soloed that mojo nick fury is a beast imagine what i would have been able to do had i not kept messing up and getting clipped by his special uh one so nick fury is a beast 
All right, so let's find out how we did in this war. All right, we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this one, but we did get all three bosses down. Let's take a look here at uh, how we did. Yep, yep. As you can see, we skipped a lot of sections and didn't try to uh, explore fully. Uh, there's Jigner, MVP. Uh, we got K5, MVP1. Dragon Slayer, MVP3. Uh, kudos, guys. Uh, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.